everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome back to my channel. This is Light in Lavender where we talk about all things books on my own writing journey and today I have a book review for you. Today I will be doing a review of Dead Boys Game and The Broken Vow by A. David Singh. This was a book that I received in exchange for an honest review and I have previously half mentioned it in my wrap up for September. Yes, September is when I read this book and I've been meaning to do a video for this for a while but I've kind of lost a lot of motivation with filming so it's taken a lot longer than I expected but it's finally here, it's finally done and now you can see my full thoughts. There will be spoilers in this video so if you don't want to know too much about this book then I will let you know when the spoilers really start but I will like I said let you know about that but there are some things I think you might want to know before you decide to click off because I'm not gonna ruin too much of the overall story. <laughs> this book I gave three and a half stars. I enjoyed this book. I felt that it suffered with first in the series syndrome which is where there was a lot of backstory and not a lot of action in this book it did seem to be building more of the premise for the entire series rather than delving into its own plot points i think the plot itself hit mostly towards the end of the book whilst the beginning tried to weave the the three main protagonists stories together to the point where they converge and where they intersect personally i would have preferred that to have been shunted up a little bit it felt like the middle of the story kind of lost its way and for that i knocked it down a little bit but I did enjoy it and I will be wanting to read the rest of the series when I get the chance but with the amount of books I've got it may take a while to finally get around to this. The book centres on three main characters Gaius, Julius, Vilius and Calpurnia who all want to achieve the lofty ambitions and goals of senatorship in the Roman Republic. Calpurnia is the most um, intriguing of these because she is a woman and in the Rome <laughs> the women did not get any power <laughs> so it is an, an intriguing choice to use this there is magic heavily involved in this this is called the magical Rome universe and I really liked the setting of that I liked the introduction of magic and sort of Celtic paganism into this story along with <laughs> the Roman setting I've not read a lot of books set in Rome in the Roman Republic and I do really enjoy this era, era of history so I was excited to read it and see how that was done. I think the building and the grounding of the Roman era was done wonderfully. I felt like I was reading sort of not full historical fiction, but it had that vibe where I, it felt real to me and I think that was well done. I would have liked to see a little bit more magic in this, seeing as this is the magical Rome universe, but I feel like that's going to fall more into the later books in the series, which is a slight... One of my slight concerns with this book that I was expecting magic and I didn't really get any, especially in this book. For this book and this universe there is a quiz that you can take to see which character you are from the book. I didn't do this quiz until after I had finished reading this book because I don't like to have any sort of spoilers or preconceived ideas before I go into them and I felt like this quiz would do that. These are like sort of the fan style quizzes um, that you used to do, well at least I used to do when I was a teenager like 13, 14 years ago where you'd see which character you were from Harry Potter, Twilight, insert really old book series here. It had that sort of vibe to it and I enjoyed the quiz and I <laughs> thought the character I was assigned did fit me quite well <laughs> with who I am as a person. I think it was Aurelius who I got but again the idea of the quiz is you do the quiz to help prompt you into wanting to read the book and I feel like it would do that but for me personally I prefer to do these things afterwards but I will leave a link to the quiz down below if anyone wants to take it just to get an idea of the characters and the type of characters in this book and it also does leave a link to where you can get a copy of the ebook if you are interested in buying this book as well. Right so now this is your warning that there's some spoilers coming and yeah so if you don't want to know too much about this book I think it would be best to leave now however if you just want to see what my thoughts were on parts of the more spoilery sides of this then please continue to watch. One of my main concerns with this book is the prologue that we got. So we got a prologue where the druid character transfers the evil from one child into a dead baby and then the baby becomes alive and then that baby ends up being villainous and the child where all the evil was removed from it is Gaius Julius. 
and I know that this is meant to converge later on but the storyline this is what I mean by it felt like there was a pacing issue I feel like there was too much in between stuff from this and I don't know I was expecting more to be done with the idea in this story seeing as that was the um the prologue for this book in particular so i thought they were going to delve into that relationship and what the removing of the evil actually meant and how villainous was actually alive it was a very strange sort of way to put this in um i did enjoy the fact that villainous found the plant which helped bring him alive and the plant helps him with things in his daily life I, I enjoyed the inclusion of that but I also felt it was a little bit odd <laughs> it didn't really explore it in much detail but again I think that's because this book maybe focused too much on some of the wrong things or the pacing was slightly off and in the rest of the series this will be explored more and it'll go into it in more detail but that is my main issue with like their storyline and then we have Calpurnia <laughs> she's meant to be one of the main characters but she was locked up is she was kidnapped for most of the book she didn't have much agency someone else helped her escape and she wants to be a senator but I don't really understand why apart from the fact that it's just to move the story along there wasn't a lot explored with this character and to say that she is mentioned in the blurb um, I don't think that there was enough time given to her and to fully develop her and her wants and ambitions and it did frustrate me that she was just kidnapped pretty much straight away and then she was kidnapped I think it was like I want to say two months she was locked up might have not been two months but she was locked up for a long time and it took her a while to think of a plan to escape and yeah it just every time you went back to it it was just like oh she's in this cell again and yeah it, it I don't know it there was just something a little bit off with how that bit was done and I felt like it could have been expanded on more I don't know I think there was just too much trying to be done in this book to get it to where it needed to be I think the backstory problem was a, a big issue with this story um I did enjoy the ending I really liked the fact that Villainous and Gaius Julius did eventually <laughs> end up working together and they met up and they got some common goals and they shared those common goals but I thought it was going to be a little bit sooner in the story and I think that's my main gripe that it just seemed to wait a bit too long to get there but I really enjoyed when they did eventually sort of team up and I'm in I'm intrigued to see how that will work with like the, especially with like the split of the evil being moved I don't even know if it was evil but the way that Gaius Julius pretty much gave Villainous his life with this spell that the druid did and I'm excited to see where the druids actually fall into there and if they're coming back or if it's all around this magical plant and this sort of like I think there was a portal element but I can't really remember and yeah there's just a lot that I'm excited to see but I, I feel like this first book could have included more of that like I said three and a half stars and I enjoyed it and I will read the rest of the series at some point in the future let me know if you're interested in reading this book and if you did the quiz which character did you get <laughs> um, if you like this video don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos there's a new one out every single week I hope you're all well and you're all staying safe and until next time bye <laughs>